Setting up VNC remotely. This tutorial assumes that you have already followed the steps outlined in my tutorial that shows how to start a session and get interactive command line access to a remote Windows box. And now I want to install VNC so that you can get a remote GUI. You can download my remote setup package of type VNC from my website. The default password it sets up is Iron Geek. If you wish, you can change the default password by installing type VNC on one of your own boxes and modifying the VNC reg file appropriately. Copy the hex contents of your password key into the following two spots in the vnc.reg file that I have provided. My reg file has also been set up in such a way that it should hide the WinVNC icon from the user system tray. First, establish a session with the target box as shown in the previous tutorial. Now make sure that the Telnet service is running on your target box. Now you can copy the type VNC install files to your target machine. Next, turn it in and run intvnc.bat. You should now be able to VNC into the box. Enjoy. At this point, it would probably be a good idea to delete your install files from the remote machine 